darling, I know it's hard to let go. Soon I will hold you again. Longer days when I'm away, but we'll both pretend to be bold. Do the travel day, it's day two. If you don't, it's day one. So, we actually had a really good night's sleep. We actually fell asleep at nine o'clock America time and we ended up getting like eight hours sleep, was it? Yeah, well, we woke up at like four in the morning, Florida time. I was awake for a bit and then I obviously must have fell asleep. We woke up about eight o'clock again. Yeah. It's pretty good. So, I was literally like, no, not eight o'clock, six o'clock. Six o'clock, sorry. I was actually like, oh, o'clock Yeah. At four o'clock, I was like, can we get up yet? Yeah, <laughs> um, so we are ready for our fun pack day. We're heading now to IHOP on International Drive. International Drive is kind of like the touristy strip as I call it. Um, we're going for a breakfast which is, IHOP is the International House of Pancakes if you didn't know. So good. And I know probably a lot of Americans are watching this being like... If you're in the UK, <laughs> it's most comparable to a little chef but don't let that... The pancakes are unreal, so yes. Good. So we're heading there and then we're going to go to Walmart and the outlets, but obviously we'll bring you along. So we're off now yeah. to get an Uber. So we're just calling the Lyft. Yeah, a Lyft, sorry. The Lift app, the ride share app. Well, it was and I've gone off it, but yeah, I'm about to do it now. Yeah. And it picks us up just outside the car park, around the corner of where we're staying, so it's very handy. So it's super handy and we'll tell you how much it is when we find out. Right, I'll tell you, actually, I'll confirm the pickup now, it's right around the corner. $18. $18? Oh, you get picked up in 7 minutes. So, perfect. So, or you can get picked up in 4 minutes and pay an extra $6. No, no. thanks. <laughs> but anyway guys, so yeah, we'll check in with you in a bit. Just wanted to say good morning and start this vlog off. We made it to IHOP. This is our famous pancakes. It wouldn't be the start of one of our trips if we didn't go to IHOP. Yeah. World famous pancakes and crepes. Um, yeah. <laughs> This is just my and Craig's favourite place. I already know I'm getting this. I just get going for this. And I'm just gonna have a little look. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly go but they do do um like all day food too, but we're just here for breakfast. Yeah. It's well priced, it's nice and it's well priced as yeah. well. I feel like eggs, what else do you like bacon? Yeah. Does it still feel surreal that we're here? Yes. We've been literally talking about this I hope breakfast for, for, so I, long. for that full yeah. year now. You actually get a pot of coffee and you get Free meals. So it's just really handy. Free meals. It's really good value for money. <laughs> it's really good value for money. Really and really particularly if you're coming with a family, it's like a good place to go get filled up for the day for a reasonable price. It's simple food, done well. Yeah, we love literally. it. Yeah. And we, this is where we went when we first came to yeah, and we've always come. And we say this on our drive. We were here every couple of day. Yeah. So I think it's like a, it's like a nostalgia, a nice memory yeah. thing for us too. And it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but me and Craig. It's always a must on our trip. No. Of course, Nicola went to the toilet okay. and the food came out. So, this is my breakfast sampler with my eggs and my eating. And then two pancakes. And then I got my two by two by two breakfast. And in very Nicola fashion, she got some fresh fruit. So, I was waiting for her to come back before I start. Well, she finally returned. Well, everything you hoped it would be. Mm -hmm. The pancakes are the main deal. So, have a savoury stuff, and that's time for the good bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's a healthy amount of maple syrup right there. All good? I'm just having a quick show you the receipt. So for the two coffees, my breakfast, my little small fruit, and Craig's breakfast, it came to 28.61. And then this just gives you a little idea of the tips. Usually we just do 20%. And yeah. This is what I mean about it being a pretty cheap meal and you can come in here and fill yeah, yourself up. That in pounds is like, it's like 22 quid, something like that. Yeah. 
in actual Frank, isn't it true? We actually find it's cheaper to eat out in America than it is to eat. It's buying quick grown food, food, yeah, that's a joke. 100%. Okay, so the place across the receipt, uh, receipt, I'm reading the sign. The place across the street gives you a free gift with your iHop receipt, but then it says adults only. I wonder what it is, eh? Guys, we're out of uh, iHop. It was a really good meal, and I was just coming to. Let's just say a tacky, um, tacky, uh, what do you call it? Souvenir. Tacky, oh. what's tacky about this? Ha ha, that shot. They're, are they not real? <laughs> the Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Is this the kind of thing you see? <laughs> Like on a granny's mantelpiece. Yeah, under me. This is um, what we mean. Like. Yeah, these are always in every gift shop. Like, it's a light though. There is Disney hats here just in case you're wanting to come in and get those. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, it's handy. How much are the little kids? Just $11.99. That's alright. Like that. I can look at the one with all the autographs. Okay. Some of yeah, it's like For kids, I feel it's fine. Like, there's cute little kids' teeth. This is International Drive. I will show it properly, but well, part, of it. part of it basically. That's the, like, it was at one point the biggest McDonald's in the world, wasn't it? But anyway, so basically, I Drive is like the kind of touristy strip. And on the I Drive, you get a I Ride trolley. So I just wanted to show you the prices because then you can go up and down. So a single cash fare is $2 per person, per ride. Kids cash fare is $1 per ride. And then they actually do a day pass is $5 per person. Uh, outlets from here. So we're here. We get on the red route and we can go all the way to the outlets. And you can go all the way to the other outlets at the other end as well. So it's just really handy. Sea World and stuff along the way. It's really handy. So it tells you everything. It tells you all about the night nightlife along the route. The attractions, shopping, accommodation, and what stop you yeah. do to get off. So yeah, it's just really handy. Okay, guys. So uh, we've been walking up International Drive, and I just want to point out us. Brits are not used to this freaking heat. So if you can, always call into your nearest shop and have a little air con break. Yeah, because we've been walking for 15 minutes now and we're dying and it's 27 degrees and it's <laughs> quarter to 10. Just it's not used to. quarter to 10 it. in the morning and it's 27 degrees. So I literally feel like I'm a melting ball right now. Coming towards the end, how I like to think of it is like, Disney's at one end, it's not at the end of International Drive, but it's down that, the other yeah, way. Pretty much, yeah. And then Universal, is top end. at the top end and you've kind of got SeaWorld and the SeaWorld related parks in the middle. middle and then so over here on this side you'll see this hotel just that building there that is one of the universal hotels that's why a lot of people will stay in international drive oh, because <laughs> Prague's being attacked by palm trees because it is cheaper people prefer being in that like touristy area um it's cheaper for hotels is what i mean but you're also kind of in the middle to go to disney and universal um, so I, we are just about to head into a place called Walgreens and it is just kind of like a supermarket that if you're staying at the likes of that endless summer resort you could literally nip across and get some well, bare it's, essentials. It's more like a convenience store. Yeah. So it's very expensive. It is very expensive. It's not like cheaper. It's not like a Walmart. It's not cheap. There's a bit of event this summer. Oh yes. One of the budget this hotels. This is Universal's budget hotel. But I mean it's classic and guys we've never stayed in I mean, it. It's but not budget but like it's their no thing. Yes. It's the Premier Inn. And, travel and I think I'm 100% well 90% right saying that they do offer free transportation over to Universal. That is Endless Summer and this is the Walgreens, the little convenience store that I was talking about. So if you stand it and if you stand Endless Summer this is quite handy. Yep. Okay we are in um, Walgreens. Look at my views, I'm literally dripping with sweat. I literally had to come in here for an aircon break and Craig's like, it's not that bad. I'm dying. Guys, this is what I mean about bringing your medication with you before you travel. Cause 16 tablets for calls with like $15.49. And you know how like cheap we paid stuff. one million back home. Like literally, <laughs> crazy. Water shoes, how much are the water shoes here after us mentioning? Oh yeah. $15.99, see guys, I, I am like serving you well with these tips. Also, they're really not as good as ours. Yeah, they're also horrible. So we got two <laughs> pairs for 14 quid, yeah. <gasps> 
Yeah, the same. Oh, these are amazing. Combos. Right, we need those, but I wanted the pizza. Get them on one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, all well, the bucket hats. I don't know, dollars. Actually, that's what you want. I mean, along with the t shirt, it's very, 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 very smiley. You look like a hippie. You do a bit, yeah. It's cool. I think if I was to get anyone, I'd get that avocado one. I just bought it just down this and I was trying to get water. It was $6.49 for 24. We just gave it to Walmart good. just because we found it cheaper and we just get a taxi over. Because of where we're staying. What's that? $4? No, $1.99? Oh no, I think I'm in the wrong thing. Oh no, $1.99. Sorry. I'm an idiot. So this one's strawberry lemonade. Wow. Okay, that's strawberry. We don't have the zero sugar range of that, do we? Oh, you can get a full thing of it. Maybe you should bring it home. No, I just can't get that flavour at home, but... Currently waiting on the iPoly. Yeah. We are on the iPoly finally. And if you have no idea what these look like, they're literally like... They're like the old school, school big shoes and the old school. You have to like pull the cord to let it stop. Anyway, basically it takes you from, as I said, from one end of iDrive to the other. So we just got a single ride because it doesn't give you exact change. So maybe sort of have the exact change ready to go because it's $2 for a ride. But you can do it any way you want. Yeah. yeah as, far as, as far as it goes. Yeah. We just arrived at the Orlando Premium Outlets. This is the ones at the top of our drive. Yep, so, so we I'm took the keep... little trolley up to here and it's pretty straightforward and now we're here. Yeah, it's literally the last stop. You can't really go wrong. We'll look for the Disney outlet and do that first. Today, a lot of people come to these outlets because you're getting such good deals, but also they do have, there's an outlet at one end and one end of Interest Drive and an outlet at the other and they do have to Disney shop, so it's worth checking them out. It's basically like a Disney outlet. Craig's on the hunt for a Halloween t-shirt. Yeah, and sometimes um, some of the stuff in the outlets are actually still in the parks. Yeah. So it could be something in the parks, like $50, it'll be in the outlet, like 30 But it's always so worth, worth checking out, yeah, so. And we can't go all the time, so who cares if it's the last season? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The New Balance shop first. For runners, for me. Oh, the aircon, guys, the aircon. No success in the... New Balance shop. I mean, there was lovely trainers, but I could have just taken home them all. And well, you're looking for a pair of uh, running trainers, aren't you? Another yeah. pair of running trainers. So really, our aim is Nicola running trainers today, and something in Disney, Disney outlet for Halloween party. Time. Uh, though we are coming back to outlets for a proper shop, but this is more just a little, little mooch round. Today, the whole point of today was to take it easy before we go into the parks because we don't want to burn ourselves out because of the long flight and stuff. But ironically, this is probably the best we've ever felt on day one. Yep. And also guys, me and Craig find it hard to take it easy, but I can't stress enough to actually uh, take it easy on your first day. Oh yeah, after a couple of days, go full fall the whole time. Yeah, you need to make every every minute of this trip count you've yeah. spent enough. Okay guys, we found the Disney outlet. Word to the wise, it is always chaotic. Yeah. Oh, the 50th one. That's like a really thick spirit jersey. Yeah. That's the kind of material we need. All the Christmas ornaments, guys. Right. So these are normally twenty four ninety nine, and twenty seven ninety nine. You're getting such a good deal. Like, oh, yeah. what do we think, guys? Look at it, fantastic. I mean, you won't be wearing this in the Florida. Yeah, how much is that? Am I being silly? I can't see a price either, darling. No. Oh, red spirit jersey. Sorry, if you don't know me and Craig love the spirit jerseys. Oh, there's one. Well, it was 34, but I can't find a. Okay, I give up. They're nineteen dollars. Star Wars one. Probably because you absolutely cannot wear them here. Oh yeah, you want that for your bike? Of course you do. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. I have a bike covered in stickers because I'm a child. Of course. So I need that. <laughs> oh, look at the little scrunchies. Eight dollars ninety nine. Yeah, do I really need Disney scrunchies? Probably not. Hey, three ninety nine. That's This is the problem with the outlet, everything's so cheap, you just open that. You feel out. like you want it, but you don't necessarily need it. How cute are the wellies? 
Because some things end up in the outlets and you, and you just look at it and think it was destined Here's to be. Here's your girl's coat from the thing I love. America Chavez or something like that. Oh my gosh, I that want this. Cool. Oh, does it? $30. That is yeah, it's probably the sizing's issue, isn't it? It was $79.99. Yeah. Is that not so good? Yeah, it's alright. Oh, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. What is that? They're $1.99 and up. Oh, wait, that's not your phone, though. That's maybe a, a slight deal breaker. Because <laughs> all the pride stuff, this stuff's really cool. Who's that one? $12.99. It's cool. I like that. Yeah. Oh, but there's no, uh, there's no lads. You know? Yeah. No, I don't want to be happy ever. <laughs> How much is it? It's not bad. We're going this way. Um, obviously, we would take the. There's really cool plates and stuff over there. Yeah, we'll just, just get smashed, smashed to pieces, is the problem. Oh, that's lovely. I need that. Oh, my God. So. It's nice, though. How much is that? So this is $7.99. $7.99. Oh, there's a Pizza Planet one down there. Oh, got that Monday morning. That one's only $7.99, too. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It's very useful. This is weird cups with the foamy lid on them. I don't know, yeah. I used to do it. Do we get the strawberry or the blueberry one? Mm, I don't know. Craig won't let me. Do you think? I don't know. Really? Hey Nick, how much is that? Is? Don't know. $5.99. Wow. Maybe like, you do like it. Like PJ Bottom. Oh, John Bottoms. Okay, so we went to the outlets. We didn't see actually loads of stuff, but I got some running leggings. We got a mug, a sticker, and a bauble. The essentials. That's it. <laughs> Craig didn't get a Halloween t shirt, unfortunately. But you are going to look tonight, are you not? Yeah, I might just get one tonight. It's there is like a, there is like a, there is a standard like Halloween t-shirt for the event, I might just get that. I came prepared with mine so I don't need to be looking on the door. I tried. <laughs> um, I so tried. we're just going ahead into the Skechers shop here. No success in Skechers, so let's go to the famous, what's this place called? Famous footwear. Yeah, we're going in here. Yeah. Got the goods. Yeah. Of course. And you've you got know, extra money off as well. Got extra money off. Get the, If you are coming here and going to Nike Outlet, get the Nike app because you get rewards. And on top of them having 30% off the shoes I wanted, I also get an extra 15% off for having the app. And, with, and it's cheaper in dollars than it is in pounds, so it worked out really well. Literally, I got the trainers I love for literally $49, and at home yeah. they're like £100. Yeah, so, I know. Not bad. Not bad. We have finished at the outlet for today, so we're just going to head back and get the I toy and head to Walmart. Yeah, we'll get the trolley to the middle of our drive and then walk to Walmart from there. Okay, we made it onto the trolley. We're gonna have a little run. We had a run, we saw it coming. They come every 20 minutes and I was like, no, I'm not standing the seat for 20 minutes. So we illegally ran across the road. So I thought I was swimming and now I'm properly swimming. Yeah, so now we're on our way to, is it stop seven? I, I think it's stop seven. We got off near the big McDonald's we showed earlier. Oh, yeah. And then we walked beside that under the overpass and then on the way to Walmart. It's about, well, that'd be about 15 minutes. 10 minutes if it wasn't 100 degrees. Yeah. I don't know. Did we update you that we got off the eye trolley? The eye trolley that broke down, so we lost a bit of our day, but that's fine. We're safe and well, and we're here. And we're now at. Whole Foods, and then we're going to quickly nip over to Walmart because so we really do need to get. Whole Foods and Walmart, you can walk to from the International Drive, yeah. from the big jump intersection in the middle near McDonald's. Let me just show it. So this is the big Whole Foods that I like to come to and have a little nosy in. There's a. There's no price, isn't there? That's... Guys, a whole a thing. I was on the board. Six forty-four. Twelve dollars. We made it to Walmart and there's actually a cross in there now which makes it easier to cross because a lot of um, tourists would walk from iDrive to Walmart so yeah just a little heads up if you are doing it from International Drive maybe don't do it in the peak of the sun Walmart! Yay! We made it! Yeah. Really sweet. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Don't have much I'll be sure. Fair, 5 .98. 
These look like nothing, but these are fantastic. They are mine and Craig's favourite thing. I'm actually so excited to have them. And they're only, how are they? Okay, how much they are? Three ninety eight. We get a pack of each, even though I don't think the colour matters at all. Yeah, sure. <gasps> well, you got that, you? Yes, but though I'm waiting for Cindy Bond, guys. Um, so we're just looking for like some parcels and stuff for breakfast. Are they meant to be Halloween ones? Well, sort of cookies, wow. Well, it's nice that they do them in daily quantities. 13 bucks! <laughs> Are you getting any? No, I'm not getting those. Okay. Oh, goldfish, guys, goldfish. We like those top ones. Uh, extra cheddar flavor, extra cheddar flavor bar. This one? Yeah, pick these up to try. Oatmeal squares. Cereal game in America is next level. Right, I'm gonna try these and then I might get, I'll see if I do it enough. I wonder if we should have looked at the oatmeal cups. Flavors like why aren't we having these in the UK? Strawberries and cream. My cereals are cinnamon toast crunch and the oatmeal squares and cracker gold. Captain Crunch. We'll see what it's like. We'll see. The color of the crunch. Oh, here's my smart food. Okay, uh, white cheddar, but then why do I have big packs? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, watermelon. Get five pounds of Twizzlers. Fine. <laughs> I think there's that many That's dense. Me, I need them. I love Twizzlers. I get these in. Oh, the little Ghirardelli chocolate. Oh, good. They're low fat. Phew. Yeah. Ready to back in the room. Sorry, I'm coming. Uh, I said that like I was shouting. Um, last time you saw us, we were at Walmart, yep. wasn't it? And then we got a, a taxi from Walmart, or a, a lift from Walmart to here. That was all sort of balls up. The driver accidentally cancelled the ride. So then I got charged for a ride that I didn't take and then paid him in cash. And now I'm waiting for the money to get back. So it's Fun like times. Twice, but anyway, yeah. um, and also our trolley, the first trolley we went to get on drove past us. Yep. The second trolley was late and then the third trolley broke down. <laughs> Just letting you know about these things, guys. So we're supposed to be going to Magic Kingdom soon, but we're just going to have to be a bit later. We wanted to try and make use of the early because we have a, a ticket normally. We go in early before the Halloween party starts, but now we're probably going to arrive when everyone else does. But oh well. Um, but also, going, sorry if I didn't film that much in Walmart. We are supposed to be going back, but Craig will show you what we got. I'm just off to freshen up. That's why I look like this right now. Okay, I'll do that in a second. I need to cool down. Okay, here's all the stuff we got at Walmart. So we've got like some breakfast stuff. So like mini croissants, incredibly cheesy bagels, and we've got cream cheese for those two. Rich grain bars, very American cereal, it's probably more sugar than cereal. Well Nicola got something that looks moderately healthy. Uh, milk to go with that, then we've got like snacky things like goldfish, the smart food white cheddar crisps that we love. Well that's popcorn isn't it? Yeah. Never mind popcorn. Got some fruit for Nick, I'll, I'll say us but that's probably something for Nick. And then I got sour cream donut hose to see what they like. Sugar cookies because they're amazing. A load of water for the room. What else did I forget? And hot tamales, Twizzlers, which taste like soap, but they're really nice. And copper tune because we have lots of sun cream, but this one comes out like an aerosol, so it's really handy. And yeah, that's everything. So we're currently getting ready to go to the Halloween party. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Okay guys, so we're officially ready for the Halloween party. I am so buzzing because this is going to be our first time in Magic Kingdom. So I'm wearing these little cute Halloween ears, got my little broomstick, and of course I'm representing Hocus Pocus, childhood favourite, and there's a Hocus Pocus show here tonight and I'm absolutely buzzing. The excitement is unreal. And Craigie has got his Agatha All Along t-shirt on. Agatha All Along. And I might get a Halloween, actual Halloween t-shirt from the event because they have special ones, but I don't know if I like them enough, but we'll see. Yeah, but I think this t-shirt's cool. And he's yeah. also got your little, like, um, alien lights, don't you? Oh, I have alien lights that I wore for the Christmas party four, three years ago, but they're more in keeping because they're Toy Story aliens, so I might wear them or put them on a bag or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. But yeah, so we're just now going to go get the Disney bus. Um, Disney transportation to the parks is always free if you're staying. Actually, even if you're not staying on site, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Disney transportation between parks is free. Another just perk of being Disney. Yeah, even if you're not sending Disney, if you can get yourself to a transportation center or to any resort, you can then jump you on, jump a on any bus. Anyway. But yes, yeah, so we will see you in the Magic Kingdom. Oh, we're so test. on the Disney bus to Magic Kingdom. As you can see, hardly anyone else is on it. I don't really know why. But next so time you'll see us, we will be in the happiest place on earth, or at least on our way to it. I might actually be crying because it's been a long time coming. Okay, we're just formulating a plan for the party, but I'll let you continue. So basically, guys, I like write everything out. Sorry, thanks. See my phone. I write everything out. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to see the fireworks at 10:15. There's different times for everything other than other than the fireworks, and. Our theory is just that most people with children will go to the earliest event of things, so in actual fact that then it'll be a bit quieter later for us to go on rides. Because we want to try and make the most of these after hour parties because they're limited ticket events. You do pay, pay extra, but you're also having less crowds, less amount of people waiting for rides. So yeah, we're going to go see the fireworks at 10.15, then the Booty Parade at, no sorry, then the Hocus Pocus Film Spectacular at 10.45, and then the Booty Parade. Cool. And then after that, we're free as a bird, or even before it, we can maybe do stuff. Yeah, because the wait time should be low. If people are watching the first showings of parades and fireworks, then that we'll be able to go right. Ah, uh, the bus doesn't go that way, but that'll be the entrance for people who are driving. This trip is so long, and with everything that's been going on, and I've had other stuff going on as well as COVID, it feels like this was never going to happen again. I'm going to go to the castle now, I can't That looks amazing. It's just so magical. <laughs>
shit colors, doesn't it? Just saying, guys, I'm I was convinced because it's been so long and been with COVID and everything, such a struggle to get here. I was convinced I was going to cry when I saw the castle, but yeah, so was I, it together. Uh, it's just like such a magic bubble. Yeah, so currently we looked at the wait times, and the wait times for some rides are quite low. So it's only a 15 minute wait for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And we love Big Thunder, it's our favourite ride like here, favorite, I think. Yeah. Well, one of our favourite rides here. Yeah. So we'll go do so it. We're gonna, sorry, I'm not, you're not in shot again, I'm so oh, bad at okay. this. I'm just fanning So myself. we're gonna go do Big Thunder Mountain, and that can be a natural roller coaster, and we can be scared because we haven't done it in ages. <laughs> yeah. So on the way to Big Thunder Mountain, we go through Frontierland, so I thought I'd record a little bit of it and see, well, it's kind of empty here, isn't it? I guys don't get to be like, no, this is here, this is here. Oh my god, it's definitely, definitely, definitely not. So, we get Yeah, kids can go on it. it I mean, it's good. So yeah, anyone fun. can do that ride. Yeah, it's like a, fun, a really good family friendly one. All right. <laughs> oh, this one with mansion there too. So it's a little steamboat. Well, it's a little, the little steamboat. <laughs> the little tiny steamboat. Yeah. So we're now off to see. The wait times and a few other things, we don't know whether it's just yeah. worth All the people that have got tickets can now come in, so, so there's going to be an influx of people in now. We might go get um, some food and then ride some rides after, but yeah, we'll probably just... Uh, so we, now, we looked at the app, we actually have an app that tells us more accurate wait times, but we'll tell you about that later. And it's probably saying, um, oh, my mind's gone right. Uh, seven Dwarf Mine Train's only a 22 minute wait. Literally, people will wait two hours for this one, so this is pretty good. Um, and we've, we've, we've got nothing but time. The event doesn't start till 6, it's currently... I don't know. It's four. Okay. Nicola, has her, Nicola has her Mickey face and on the, on the, on the, on the iWatch, she, can't, she so now can't tell the time. And there is the... Oh, and hopefully we'll never ever do Small World ever. Guys, I'll make it. Well, that has a very small weight. Oh, lovely. Oh, a 
not so nice. I'm today we're now in the queue for Mine Train. So we're up to 35 minutes, but the app we're using says 25. It said 22 before. It's still a really short wait for this ride, so it's definitely worth doing. As we started to record on the roller coaster, it went off. And so the you first did. Bit was so funny you were like, oh. So I think we can yeah. that. So we'll, if we, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the outtake in, but we'll, we'll obviously ride it again at some point, but you're not going to see it this time, unfortunately. Sorry. Well, guys, we are going to end this video here, and you're probably like, why? It's yeah. just from all the footage of today, oh, it might hello. run <laughs> into a really long massive vlog. So we're going to do the separate Halloween party as. We're going to do the Halloween party as a separate video. Yeah. So. With that being said, give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my little YouTube family just Please so that. that you guys can see the next video and so that you can see the Halloween party next week because yeah. I'm sure it's going to be pretty awesome. Sending love and positivity to each and every one of you. Love you so much. Bye!